You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Vegan chili con carne. Or should that be chili non carne? Because it's got no meat. But watch out, it's got beans in it and corn. Of course, the chili purists will hate this. But I prefer to follow the philosophical theory of free will and put what I like in my chili. It's only food, isn't it? But let's make some concessions to what those bonkers determinists think and start by chopping one medium onion here, because the cause and effect of having no onions in our chili might lead to the implosion of the universe. And I'm using refined coconut oil to sauté my onion, and that will fit in nicely with Immanuel Kant's analytic proposition that states all vegetable oils are vegan. At least I, I think that's what he was getting at. Now don't brown these onions too much. No problem, of course, for all you scientific realists out there who believe that colours don't really exist. But I'm a naive realist, so I brown them a bit. Tough call this, though, as the very process of cooking tends to put objectivity and subjectivity into conflict. I know it's something I have an existential crisis over quite a bit. So put six cloves of garlic in next if you believe that numbers exist. And if you believe that numbers are an abstract concept invented by humans to quantify the world around them, just put some garlic in here. And then give that a good stir around, and then we're ready to put our spices in now. So first off comes my secret ingredient. This is African Burberry spice, and this will give deepness and complexity to your chilli. Link in the description for this. A heap tablespoon goes in here, but you can use paprika powder instead, obviously. And any chilli that you want to put in here, or any heat, should go in now. You know how spicy you like things better than I do, so I'll leave that up to you, eh? And next comes a teaspoon of onion powder followed by a teaspoon of garlic powder, and these two will help give our chilli that signature smoky flavour, and a generous half a teaspoon of unsweetened cacao here. And cacao is a common chilli spice, so don't worry, and we'll follow that with a heap teaspoon of cumin. And let's go in with a tablespoon of tomato puree. And we'll need plenty of salt in this, so two and a half teaspoons of sea salt, or normal salt. And a generous half a teaspoon of ground pepper along with a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and I'm gently going to cook all that on a low heat to release all the oils from those spices a bit. And while we're doing all this, and if you follow Auguste Comte's doctrines of positivism and altruism, maybe you could click on the like button for me if you like this video, and subscribe as well if you like. I mean, I'm not talking about positivism and altruism as ethical doctrines. I mean, you don't have to like and subscribe. It's all down to your own free will, which I covered earlier. So anyway, I'm adding a tablespoon of soy sauce into the pan now. And I'm going to follow that with a teaspoon of dried oregano and a teaspoon of dried thyme. And I'm going to give that a good stir up. And now we're ready for our tomatoes. Two standard sized tins are going to go in here. And you know, this is interesting. Everybody knows that tomatoes go in chili. Everybody puts tomatoes in chili. Nobody would be silly enough not to put tomatoes in chili. And that makes it the perfect example of justified true belief. And it solves the get the air problem flawlessly. So now we've stirred all that together well, we're going to get our beans in now, and I'm using these large cannellini beans here, and they're a great addition to this dish. And obviously I'm using a standard sized tin of red kidney beans, and make sure you wash your beans and drain them properly before they go in here. And now let's go in with a standard sized tin of black beans. The extra beans here with different flavours and textures will be a good substitute for meat, and I suppose we should all try and eat a little less meat, shouldn't we? After all, as Schopenhauer said, compassion for animals is intimately associated with goodness of character, and it may be confidently asserted that he who is cruel to living creatures cannot be a good man. Might be a little bit strong, but I appreciate the sentiment. And I'm just debating whether to put the corn in here, it's making me a little bit nervous to be fair. I just, I just don't want to incur the wrath of the chilly fundamentalists. Shall I or shan't I? Shall I or shan't I? You know what, I'm going to do it. 150 grams of sweet corn right in there, and I regret nothing. And I, I, I'm not trying to hide it here by stirring it in, you know. I'm glad I did what I just did. Go on, have that chilli, snobs. That's me flipping you off in the Queen's English. And what I've just done there, you see, is I've gone along with epic Tetris's writings that suggest that that alone is in our power, which is our own work. And basically what he's saying is if, if you don't put corn in this chilli, it'll lead to the eternal slavery of your soul. So I'm adding a large knob of coconut oil at this point, and this will help give the dish a bit of a creamier mouthfeel. And if you want a creamy vegan accompaniment to this three bean chilli, check out my guacamole recipe in the description. That goes perfectly with this. And have a little taste of your chilli now. And I'm just adding a bit of sweetness with a glug of grape juice here. And I'm going to finish this with another large knob of coconut oil, partly because I like seeing another large knob of coconut oil. And that is our vegan three bean chilli. Done. So, without further ado, 
Let's get it on a plate, though, and serve it up nice. I wholeheartedly recommend you give this vegan three-bean chili a go, even if you're not vegan, because as Carl Jung wrote in his seminal work, Man and His Symbols, from 1964, that three-bean vegan chili that the Teesside chef made on YouTube is the dog's bollocks, mate. Give it a crack. But there you go. What more proof do you need? Let me know how it turns out, boys and girls, and check out more of my recipes for more culinary enlightenment and philosophical musings. See you next time, eh? Ta-ra.